Alright, okay. Hi, Diego ni po, Keepsakes. And welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to basically my next video. This is my next video. This is about the Anime Awards. Last video, I voted for my picks in the Crunchyroll Anime Awards. Uh, results are pending. Uh, we'll check that within this month. But for now, uh, what I'm going to do at the moment is to vote for the r slash anime awards so this is the one that's organized by r slash anime a subreddit you know uh the subreddits are independent in by nature with some uh bringing big results such as the r slash wall street bets so before we proceed i'd like to check first if uh uh what the what the, uh, what date they will be uh, announcing the winners for the anime awards? February nineteen. February nineteen. All right, all right. Okay, so that's quite a while. That's two weeks from now. But for now, with me and this uh, glass of Mick Mick, <laughs> this is sweet powder basically. You know the ones people love to puff. Uh, okay, so. That said, let's start voting. So I got my uh, Reddit account uh, open, and uh, yeah, let's let's check what do we have here, right? Opening soundtrack. Okay, so we we'll start with the we we'll start with the lowest first. All right, okay. So the script. 33 categories. 33 categories. Imagine that. Can I finish this in one minute? So, yeah. Alright, okay. Script. Um, not. Uh, I'm, I'm familiar with Smile Down the Runway. Alright, okay. I voted in one category. We're now talking about uh, the anime of the year. Let's go to the previous one. Script. Alright, we voted for... Uh, Maybe we should we should go back to the anime of the year. Anime of the year in it is. Anime of the year 2020. Is it Snafu Climax? They have good choices here. They have good taste. And take note, this is not limited to the titles that are being shown on Crunchyroll. This is R slash anime worldwide yan. Right. Uh if I were to pick Akodama Drive is uh a Nominee for this, but if I were to pick, I'd pick Keep Your Hands Off Azoken. And then uh, we go to the movie of the year. I've watched Konosuba. I watched Her Blue Sky. I've watched Red Ring Video and Violet Evergarden. Oh my god, Violet Evergarden. You know, I'm a sucker for Violet Evergarden. Let's vote it. Okay, so short of the year, Agretzko Season 3. Okay, we have that. And then Key Loss and Isike Quartet 2. Room Camp. Room Camp it is. Action. Fate Can Order, Burn the Witch, Akodama Drive. You know, these are the... Uh, I, I haven't finished Burn the Witch. But if we talk about action, we go to, say, the most action pack scenes. And if Jujutsu Kaisen is not here, we'll consider... Babylonia is not an action pack, it's more dramatic pack. Let's go with Decadence, I, even if I haven't watched that. Adventure! Oh my god. Bofuri versus Wandering Witch. You know, this is my... Uh, Bofuri is my chill pill, no? When you're too stressed with everything, you watch the worst episode with the anime that you watch, you go to Bofuri. But then, you, uh, the reason for the stress is either uh, an episode of Wandering Witch. Wandering Witch is so good, I cannot ignore this. I'm sorry, Bofuri. Better luck next time. <laughs> Alright, comedy. Comedy. Okay. Someone put interspecies reviewers here. Some put Kakushigoto. Villainous. Love is War. Konosuba. I watched five out of six uh, series of this. Kakushigoto is uh, a very, very chill pill to as well. Ano? Except in the latter episodes. I won't spoil you the rest. So, I'm I'm divided between these three. Kaguya-sama is a romance anime. It's, it has good comedic packs. Sometimes it has uh, quality scenes. Uh, I mean, what I mean is quality romantic scenes that will make you squee, squee, like that. All right. Okay. But uh, Villainess has uh, 
this uh, cutesy vibe. Of, of course, the characters are cute. They are cute. I like the show. I like the show. Okay, let's vote for Villainess. Interspecies Reviewers is out of my league. Simply because. Well, I've watched it. I've watched it. Okay? I've survived it. Alright. Drama. Chaya for 3. Fruits Basket. Major. I only watch Violet Evergarden. So let's pick that. Alright. Romance. Romance! Saikano movie, the finale. No more questions asked. That's that's the one I finished uh, so far. I haven't been to the the what? What's it? What's it? Tonikawa. I haven't finished that. What do you think with you? Meh. I I I still go with Saikano, the movie finale. Right. Slice of life. Oh my god. Room camp. Breakwater. Bloom. I think uh, my love for the rabbits are waning. But I love how uh, Breakwater delivers its stuff. Uh, you know, it's cute girls doing fishing. Nijikasaki High School Club is considered a slice of life series. Okay. It's okay. It's really slice of life. I've seen slice of life talaga siya. But I, among all these series, I've watched Wave Listen to Me. It deserves a vote because simply because it talks about the radio industry. An industry that I want to go to. I want to go to the radio industry. Alright, okay. Suspense. Dorohedoro, uh, ReZero, Talitas Nana, Great Pretender, Talitas Nana. I haven't watched it, but based on the teasers that I've seen, that's quite a quite a lot. Alright, okay. Uh, main dramatic. Main dramatic. A main character whose characterization or arc is generally serious in tone and office often focused on development. These two are out of my league. Uh, this one, I... Okay. Or maybe they're into my league. Because character-wise, that when you talk about main dramatic, I'm I'm not focusing on the main characters too much. Well, I could vote for you, Ishigami. So yeah, maybe for kicks. I may have trash taste, but trust me, I haven't watched the the rest of these series. Okay, main comedic. They put Elena on main main comedic. Oh yeah, I haven't, I haven't finished Sleepy Princess in Demon Castle. I'll pick that. Alright, okay. Supporting character. Best girl. Be, uh, best, uh, best, uh, best supporting character. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. I'll pick I. No questions asked. Antagonist. Rachel, Echidna, the... Ah, ikida pala sa ano, an antagonist. Opposes the protagonist's actions or ideas. I haven't finished or watched any of these series where the characters are in. So maybe ikida goes in. You know, that uh, that running joke that comes out of use uh, illustration of, say, ikida pouring tea over her, her, her armpits. Ah! Okay, okay. Cast. Refers to mo- both main and supporting characters judge individually and collectively. Alright, okay. Ako dama drive, so on so forth. Konosupa, uh, Kagasama. I'm confident to pick between Konosupa and Kagasama simply because character dynamic is there. But you know, the, char- the, the characters uh, pop out in uh, Konosupa when the, the, the last time I've watched it, so I'll go with that. Alright, animation. They even had the balls to share the animation here. So, uh, how well a series of images, frames, portray motion, emotion, and energy. They even included Fire Force Season 2, which, to be fair, it showed emotion. As far as I see it. Okay, don't, don't, oh no, don't hate me for that. All right, Ezoken is basically mainly animation. So, I'm either divided between the God of High School or Ezoken. Maybe let's pick Ezoken. Okay, so in order to log, in order to cast your vote, you need to log in to your Reddit account. So this is my Reddit account. All right, animation, movie. No questions asked. Violet Evergarden, Kyoto Animation, still based. Background art, background art. Okay, I'm I'm divided, but they, they even included Budokan. Oh my. Esoken, Kakushigoto. I, I, I noticed Kakushi Koto's background art more, so I'll pick that. For the movies, it's um, 
Ga! Ga! <laughs> Violet, still ever guarded. Character design for TV. The character designs for Azoken are three different uh, people with the same goal uh, of uh, living their animator dream, so I'll pick that. Uh, compared to Kaguya Sama, they're in for the comedic uh, and the rom com uh, matter. And uh, yeah, character design for a movie. I, I love, even though you see that it's not quite the, the same character design as with the Kaguya, you can see that you can obviously see the difference, but. I still prefer Ezoken simply because of its uh, how to. It uh, it's not just the uh, it's not just the illustration. It's not just the visuals. It's how they manage to blend that well. And considering that uh, maybe I don't know what I'm saying here, but long story short, they this is a that's a how to for animation. And I believe every animator should watch that. Well, that's my taste. And uh, just just observe the characters. I haven't finished to the whole series yet, but maybe one of these days I will. Right, character design for movies. I'm 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 divided between Herb Blue Sky and Violet Ever Garden because Herb Blue Sky the, it has quite of uh, it has it has a good storyline. It has a good uh, purpose, the purpose of the characters, but I'm. The, the, uh, when you when you look at it, uh, when I when I take my mind out of it, the characters are vaguely described. So I will prefer again Violet Evergarden simply because uh, this is a sequel. Uh, the characters are fixed, and they added more characters. And at the end, the design of the character, not just in the visuals, but in the illustrations, but but also in the purpose. Their purpose in in the movie, their purpose in Violet's life is much better explained than the ones in her blue sky. Maybe I'm wrong, but if you look at it closely, you can see that you could understand the, the support, the, the additional characters that they, they added in Violet's. So, compositing, how separate technical aspects of a scene, background, art, animation, after effects, lighting, etc. are combined to create a cohesive aesthetic, which is something that I do not usually notice. Compositing. This is Sakoga. This is Sakoga time, and I'm not into the Sakoga field as much as I would love to. I'll pick for Toilet Plant Hanakokun because um, the compositions, how they compose the matters, how it looks like a beyond coma, but it's not. Uh, I'm, I'm okay with how they, des they describe the emotions, the, the scenes, as if you're reading a manga compared to the rest. Compositing for movie, weathering with you versus Violet Evergarden. Okay, here's the thing. Uh, although I voted for the background art for Violet Evergarden because of one of the scenes, it's still vividly clear in my mind. Weathering with you, uh, they have uh, they have a good aesthetic, so you can see from the artwork itself. So I'll this time I'll give Weathering with you a shot, and I'm on 24 over 33 categories. All right. Storyboarding. This is Sakoga again. Sakoga level stuff. How sequences laid out, including scene composition, camera angles, camera angles, transitions, and similar directorial elements. All right. Okay. What should I pick? I'm only familiar with um, Kagasama. So Kagasama. I have less idea about uh, this because again I only pick the shows that I've watched storyboarding for a movie is between uh, between Violet Evergood and Weathering with you again All right camera angles camera angles I love how they move the camera angles in that ballroom scene in Violet Evergood so I'll pick that All right okay OST official soundtrack for TV okay I'm not into soundtracks much these days but i'll pick the official sound for I've, I've listened to that one ending theme of uh, i believe this is uh 15 dragons I, I i don't know if i've watched this i i could pick anything of any anything of this anything uh, or any 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 single one of it, but yeah, I'll go with Tower of God. OST for movies. I'll pick Weather Weathering with You. All right, sound design, sound design. My goodness, I can't even decide. Maybe I'll pick Galen Dino. Sound design for movie. 
they really excluded Violet from this part, no? Whether I with you, it is. 30 of 33. Voice actor. How voice actors portray their characters in the service of the narrative in an anime. Oh my. Koda Minere. Hands up. Hands down. Hands down. Opening. Alright. Daddy, daddy, do. And then there's Koinota. Okay. Oh, who is. Um, the great, okay, that's actually for Great Pretender, that's the ending. Uh, Freddie Mercury is officially an, an, uh, an anime song singer. I'll pick Koinota. Ending. If they don't, okay, they, uh, they included the Great Pretender. Okay, I'm done, I'm done. All right. Posting results to, uh, live stream towards the end of February. Uh, stay tuned to check for uh, r slash anime for more info. All right. Thank you very much for catching up uh, with me on this video. So that's my votes. That's my taste in anime for 2020. And I will be reviewing the results of the anime awards of Crunchyroll and r slash anime in the light uh probably next month so with that said uh, my name is jay this is keepsakes and i'll be seeing you in the next video salamat po and don't forget to subscribe to this channel also ring the bell